I'm right now in nature and I wanted to make this video and just share about the importance of really being around people that really uplift your spirit and make you feel even better and make you even feel even more positive for life and filled up with fuel and inspiration to live and be on this planet because it's so easy you know in this world to be brought down by negativity it's so easy to be brought down by negative energy negative people negative forces that are on this earth we have to ask ourselves what kind of woman do we want to be what kind of woman do i want to be do i want to be a woman that uplifts and inspires other women and other people that come across me or do i want to be somebody who is just living this mediocre flat line it takes courage to be happy in this world and also takes courage to be yourself and to be in your full energy and sovereignty. It takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of power because the flat line of humanity is like this and if you kind of become extra joyful or extra happy and you hold a higher frequency in yourself, it's almost like you're an outlier. You kind of go outside the normal parameters of the set point of how we should be and there's a lot of misery and suffering on this earth as well. And I just feel it's so important to really be true to ourselves and to our own energy, our own internal sovereignty, and to dare to be in the frequency that we came to this earth to be. And it takes power and it takes courage and it takes commitment to keep showing up and to keep being the being that you're here to be. And I know there's so many energies in this world that want us to doubt ourselves, they want us to contract and play small, they want us to... It's like self-hatred, self-judgment, being having a very strong inner critic that kind of brings us down and wants us to be smaller than what we are. Who do you think you are to be so bold? Or who do you think you are to be so powerful? Who do you think you are to shine so brightly? Who do you think you are to love yourself and accept yourself for who you are? All these different thought patterns and conditionings are also in the human psyche that are meant to kind of keep us small and keep us shackled from within. And I just feel there's such a fire and a force of light within me that says no to all these limitations and no to all these contractions and inhibitions. And that it's like almost like a fuel or a fire, a rocket that's like, no, I'm not going to live like this. I'm going to dare to be different. I'm going to break free of all the chains and limitations and contractions in myself, in my lineage. And I'm going to be the woman of light that I came to this earth to be. And I'm going to inspire and empower and activate that within all my sisters and all women on this earth because that is what I'm here to do and that is what I came here to be. And I feel that this is such a time in the world where we need these energies of light. We need the energy of light within you to fully be lived and embodied and seen in this world. We need that. We have enough darkness and negativity and fear, programming and frequencies that are in this world we need the light to shine, we need the light to rise. And that has to happen within each of us. It's like an internal switch that has to be turned on where we say, yes, I give myself permission to be powerful. I give myself permission to shine my light. I give myself permission to be beautiful in who I am. I give myself permission to love myself completely, totally, and unapologetically. I will love myself, I will not hate myself. I will not bring myself down. I will encourage myself to rise and to be the fullest expression that I came to this earth to be. And I feel this is what's needed right now in this world. We need women who are daring to be mature versions of the healthy feminine. We need healthy initiated women on this planet that has emotional maturity, that has power, strength, softness, tenderness, love, compassion, all of the qualities of the Divine Mother, all of the qualities of the Divine Feminine. Because we need this in the world, because often what happens in our lineage, it's like we have a lineage, and the feminine lineage often has had a lot of abuse, a lot of neglect, a lot of trauma, and then the feminine gets shut down. And then as a woman in this lifetime, it's our job to heal the feminine within ourselves and to free and liberate the feminine within ourselves and to heal the feminine within our lineage. And when we heal, do feminine healing work within ourselves, we are actually healing all of our ancestors, our mother, our grandmother, our great-grandmother. It's like we unshackle all of the contraction that happened in the lineage and we allow the feminine light to flow freely. And when the feminine energy is flowing and healing within ourselves and our lineage, we start to feel more free in ourselves, we love ourselves, we shine brighter in our feminine energy, we activate the sacred feminine within ourselves and we come into a healthy sense of feminine power, empowerment from within. And oftentimes, if we don't grow up with a mother, 
that encourages us or supports us to shine our brightest light and to be fully who we are and who lifts us up and encourages us to expand and rise. We become kind of more contracted and we kind of come into a small conditioning and veil that keeps us diluted and keeps us small and contracted. And that's also why having this healthy feminine healing and feminine support and having other empowering women in our life that see us, that encourage us, that hold us to a greater account can be so powerful for us to have a healthy and feminine empowerment. This is also why I'm so passionate about this and inspired about this topic because I know that I, for myself, wouldn't be who I am without also having sisters and women in my life that have encouraged me to rise, that have said, Nicole, I dare you to be more bold. I dare you to be more powerful than what you think you are. Do you know who you are? And to reflect to us and to show, to show us like, hey, I see your light, I see your beauty, I see your gifts. Daring you to be even more expressive and bold in who you came here to be. So this is the message that comes through right now that I wanted to share. I love doing this. I love supporting women. And, you know, once a year, I offer my Divine Feminine Soul Leadership Program. This is my mentorship that I offer once a year where I open up enrollment. And that will be happening next year. Early next year, I believe at the end of January, beginning of February, that I will open enrollment for my mentorship program. It happens once a year. And I just feel this passion in me where I, I meant to light and ignite the souls that feel a resonance with me, that feel a connection with me, that want to work together with me in my mentorship. Because this is the topic that I have a very, very strong dharma and passion and, and fire for, which is supporting women to rise, to activate the sacred feminine, and to allow this, the, the light in the sacred feminine to become even more embodied and activated through unblocking all the blockages, all the things that keep us small, limitations, inner judgment, inner self-hatred, contraction, self-doubt, all these things that keep us small to allow us to expand and to rise and to open. So that is something that's coming in the coming months that I'm excited to share early next year. But until then, I am encouraging you, sister, to be who you are fully, love yourself fully, shine your brightest light, be bold, be powerful, and just keep being the beautiful sun that you came to this world to be because I know there's a sun within all of our hearts and the sun wants to shine. There's been too many clouds and too much darkness in this world for too long. We need the feminine light and the divine feminine to rise, the sacred feminine of the heart to come back to this world. And you are that. You are the healing. You are the sacred feminine. And the seed is planted within you. Okay. I hope this message can give you love and encouragement and inspiration. Sending you much love from my heart. And I can just show you where I am right now. <laughs>